Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Me and Simon back out in Banai Brakaniog National Park, Brecon's Beacons. No wild camping today, but we're going to do the Brecon Beacons Horseshoe Hike. It's approximately 10 miles in total and apparently it takes four to five hours depending on what sort of pace we go at so we're going to take in four summits today Corn D, Penavan, Cribbin and Vanabeek so let's go Sure is a beautiful day for a hike. Summer is definitely upon us. And the main object of this exercise today is do a long hike to see how we feel after it because we've got four days of this coming up. And it's going to be like eight to ten miles a day, maybe more or less. See how we feel when we get there, really. But We'll know a bit more of our capabilities at the end of this one, that's for sure. I think once we're on that ridge, the only real ascent I can see is going to be like cribbing. We have a descent from Penavan down to cribbing, up cribbing, descent cribbing, and then hopefully try and do Van Beek as well. Yeah, like Simon said, the first ascent over there. It is quite steep, we've done it before, but yeah, it's not too bad, once you get up there, then it's pretty much level ends whole corn, do you If you have like my solar panel on the back, right, my only gripe is it's flapping round on the bottom and it's driving me nuts, it's bouncing back and forth off my, off my rucksack, so I'm going to get a couple more carabiners and um, yeah, all it needs is um, is clip it to the bottom on each side. But, but then I'll have a bigger. This is smaller pack in it, yeah. Yeah. So I'll have a bigger rucksack anyway, so it should be better. I'm definitely gonna strap it down. Just bounce it on the go. Just coming up to the first ascent now. I spin the camera around. Just following that path up to the top. And make our way right. As you can see, made it up to the ridge. Just gonna follow the path round now. Try and pick up the pace now. Get a few miles in before we gotta go back down Penavan and up Cribbin. Look at that review. Awesome.
we're about three miles in now and Corn D and Penavan have come into view and already I can see a line of people on both summits so it's going to be busy up there yeah we're going to carry on down back up to Cribbin along the Cribbin ridge down and then up to Vanna Beag then That's the first summit of the day done, corn D. And I accidentally hit all the rocks off the top. Oops. <laughs> Next summit, Penavan. Uh, summit number two of the day roughly the halfway point so if we're gonna have a sit down drink maybe something to eat and carry on And the food of choice today is last night's leftover barbecue. Cheers. Mm. Right, so almost two hours in to the hike, 4.6 miles. I just checked the um, power bank. You can't see it in the, in the sunlight, but um, it started off on one green flashing light, and now it's on three. So, so far, so good. Pretty good result so far. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna charge my phone. I got another lead. I'm gonna charge my phone, and the rest is power bank. Right, we better show a pit stop. Got the poles out now because we are going down and back up to Cribbin. That'll be the third summit of the day. So let's get it on.
are down from Penavan. Just walk past this little stagnant pond. Making our way up Cribbin now. Follow the path all the way to the summit. Here's the back end of Penavan there. How are you finding it? Not idea, not too bad. I'd say this is the hardest part of it so far, isn't it? Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's the biggest ascent. Yeah, definitely the hardest part of the hike so far. And the steepest part of the yeah. hike as well. From the way we've come. Still not far to the summit now. That's the summit cane of uh, Cribbin. Three mountains down, one left to go, Van Beek, which is along our ridge, down and up. Right then, on our way up to the fourth summit of the day, Van Abeeg, which is up that path. Have a quick photo on the diving board, head back down, then back on the gap rows to the car. Nearly there, not far from the diving board. We're at the summit of Fanna Beak now. That's it, by there. We're going to head back down now. Head the same way we came up, back down to the gap road, and then back to the car. So warm one.
we've left the gap rug behind. We're back on the normal tarmac now. Much easier for walking. The gap rug, those rocks are brutal underfoot. So yeah, not too far to go. Just walking down there. Just found a solar power bank. Just lying in the grass. I'll have that, thank you very much. <laughs> it's lit up two green lights. <laughs> and it's lit up two green lights, so it works. Cheers, I'll take that to the arms for me. <laughs> it might be better than it is. It might be. As soon as you know, whenever... come and join us on the cars and I'll look at the results. At the yeah. solar panel full day hike test. Yeah. Result coming next. Stay tuned. Well, we're back from that nine and a half mile hike. The um, Bracken Beacons Horseshoe Trail. And uh, this is the power bank. The results are in. Full, full charge. It looks like they're flashing on the screen, but they are actually stationary. So that's fully charged. I actually um, charged my phone when we got the Penna van, so I think we got about 35% charge on the phone. So you can see it's better results using the power bank, which I knew anyway, so um, the sun basically followed me around all day, if, if that makes sense, because it was on my back going um, north towards the mountains, and it, when we turned right and come back the other way, the, the sun had moved around and I'm still facing the panel, so it's done well. Yeah, I'm happy with it. So, uh, that test is done. It's fully charged. I'm happy. Mark's happy. We're back to the car. So that's the end of the hike. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Take it easy. Bye for now.